Monster Integration Written by Anwen Chapter 44 Med Pods Thud, the hover car dropped my backpack and flew away, I looked at as it flew away in the sky. My backpack is twice as large as last time and twice as heavy, I activated its wheels again and pulled toward the big wells building. I can't stop smiling as I pulling my backpack, this hunt had been so good, I have hunted five specialist grade monster, the minimum I will get selling them is a hundred thousand credits. Just when I am thinking how amazing the adventuring life is, I saw it a harsh reality in front of. A hover car landed not far from me and three people come out it. All three of them were bloodied, looked heavily injured but one man had his arm missing, it clearly looked bandaged, it must be chewed or cut by a monster. Undefined they are hurriedly walking toward medical bay which specially set for the injured adventurers for immediate care. This is the harsh reality of adventuring, one day you're live and kicking but very next day you might be on stretchers, one has been careful outside not only from monsters but also from fellow humans. That man's arm is gone but it's not like there are options, magic, and technology are both developed today, he can get prosthetic which can work perfectly as normal arm but he has to goodbye to adventuring. There is another option in prosthetic, he can get a grade 1 prosthetic type magical artifact which would be better than a real armor he can buy very very expensive regeneration potion which could regrow his but it not possible he could afford it. How may I help you sir, said the clerk as soon as I reached the counter, she looked prettier than the clerk that was here last time. I didn't say anything and start unloading the all the monster materials, soon I unloaded monster parts on the counter including the monster core. Last time I sold my monster through the exchange center in my apartment building fearing I will not get a good price at bazaar, but it was just my misconception. The shops in the Myasta bazaar offered the same price as exchange machines. The ray of light soon finished scanning all the monster material, sir, the store will offer you 109,000 credits, the clerk said with her usual polite smile. Okay, I accept, I said and accepted her offer and next moment the notification rang out on my holo watch. With the money I got today, I have little more than 150,000, I am feeling happy having this much money in my account. I started to walk toward the medical bay as some of my bones were broken. I entered the med bay flashing my hollow watch to door and walk into one of the pod rooms, there is not much medical personnel here and they only check when there is an emergency. I enter the pod room, the room is small and there is not much except for the big medical pod and hanger for clothes. I swiftly remove my clothes and enter the pod after flashing my hutch onto it, the pod's door closed and as I laid inside. Soon the whole pod started to fill with viscous green liquid except for my nose and mouth which has breathing masked on. These are the healing pods which are used to heal normal to semi-fatal injuries, they filed with a healing liquid which could heal injuries. Wounds and broken bones could easily be healed in, we just have spent some time in it. In our town, we only have two of these med pods but there are thousands of them and to the townspeople, these methods are too expensive to use them, they only used by certain people and only in the emergency. I have spent four hours in the healing pod, my surface wounds are healed and bones are set, still, I have to take a day rest in my apartment to be completely fine. Choo choo. Ashley called out loudly as she waiting by the pod, she is saying she is feeling very hungry, soon, little glutton. I said as patted her head. I and Ashlyn got out of the medical bay and walk toward one of the food truck, this time we ordered from a different food truck, I hope to take food from all the food trucks. As I our order arrived we started to dig into the food, after eating some bites I decided to take a photo and upload to the social media. Ashlyn looks up for the photo, she looked up for the photo with annoying expression, as I was disturbing her from her great hobby of eating. As I posted the photo, it soon got liked and commented, it's so Ron who commented with silly face emojis, closing my account I started to eat again. After we are done eating, I ordered the hover car for our apartment, I had started to feel tired and dozed off the little while I was in the car. As soon as I reached my apartment, I slept on the bed without changing, this is one of the perks of living alone, if I was in my home, mother would have given me an earful if I ever did that. But many times I hope, I were in my home or my parents were here, some might say I homesick or I am being crybaby but it is as I am. When I woke up it's already mid-morning and I am feeling good except for little sore muscle, my body's healing speed increased even since I've completed the first set of the exercise. I have to take rest today as recommended by Med Pod, so I thought why not read, I haven't read Totem Book ever since I found it in the forest, but before that have freshened up myself and get something to eat for me and Ashlyn. If you want more chapters please put the like button and subscribe to my channel Journey of Imagination.